with us in a joint mission or without us. The technology to land on Mars is, is essentially at hand. We could expect that by 2020, there would be non-returnable individuals. There would be people who are living on Mars, not coming back to Earth. The realization that men and women are no longer restricted to a single planet is creating a vast new opening of mental horizons. We look at Earth now as only the first of many worlds that people will inhabit. What will the face of this world look like? It will shrink even more by the turn of the century. There are plans on the drawing boards for planes that could fly 25 times the speed of sound. Washington to Tokyo in two hours. America's cities will experience continued population drift to the south and west. Los Angeles will be the nation's largest metropolis in 2001. The fastest growing, Phoenix. The revolution in biological engineering will change the face of America's farmland. Our ability to manipulate genetic material is already yielding bigger and better plants and animals. And by 2001, according to a government forecast, we could be producing cows the size of elephants and pigs five feet tall. By 2001, satellites could well be keeping track of trains, trucks, even cars on the ground, routing them, predicting arrival times. The cars of the future, now a gleam in designers' eyes in Detroit and Tokyo, will be smoothed and rounded to reduce drag and increase gas mileage. They'll be made of plastic, ceramics, and computer chips. Knobs and buttons and switches may all disappear, and the car will be commanded by the operator's voice. And you can sit back and ask the car to start, and it'll start. And if it starts to rain, you can ask for wipers, and you'll get wipers. And what are the jobs of 2001? High-tech for sure, but take a look at these want ads from the future. Middle tech and low tech, too. Robot technician, laser technician, geriatric social worker, paramedic. None of those people need more than one or two years after high school. Where is the money going to be for future jobs? What jobs are going to pay the best? The, the best jobs are going to come from people who can't be roboticized or computerized. We're talking about authors, writers, sculptors, painters, professional sports people, actors, actresses. They can't be roboticized or computerized. They're creative. The face of 2001 has many expressions. This is an Air Force experiment to teach computers to recognize people. It could lead to turn-of-the-century technology to identify you on the job at the bank. A computer that couldn't be fooled by disguises or plastic surgery. What are you flying back in? Picture phones will be here to stay in 2001, allowing people everywhere to dial each other up face-to-face -face for chats. As easily as technology now enables us to dial up Arthur C. Clarke, author of the science fiction classic 2001, halfway around the world. Your guess, what are the nations of the future? Well, probably the great nation of the next century will be China. I'm sure that many of the small nations will be swept away by history or will amalgamate. And, of course, we'll see the beginning of at least one extraterrestrial nation by that time, with any luck. Let's expand on that. What do you mean, at least one extraterrestrial nation? Well, the, let's say the beginning of the Lunar Republic. Maybe even the first steps towards the Martian Republic. In short, it will be a world at once both familiar and bizarre. A world of robots.